Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Comfort with the Hosses. Uh, we just have a small job to do. Fortunately, it's inside, right down here, around back into the basement. So I'll grab some tools and I'll meet you down there. So we poured this driveway about four years ago and uh, now they are going to re, not redo, I guess finish their basement. So we're gonna power buggy some concrete right around here. There's steps right in there, so we'll take it nice and wide. It's like a winter wonderland out here. Right down here to these doors, and then we'll have to shovel it into wheelbarrows and move it into into the basement fortunately it's not a lot of concrete it's just a couple of ditches just filling that in so we're going to go ahead and shovel some of that debris out get our thickness give it a quick tamp we're just going to use a hand tamper because uh, my plate tamper won't fit in there then I want to drill and pin it into the sides. If anything moves, you'll see that in the carpet or ceramic. So I'll get the camera set up and get started. Just compacting a little bit. It wasn't very a very deep ditch, just for that plumbing. It's only about six inches worth of new gravel and debris there. So just gave it a quick tamp. Now we'll go ahead and get started drilling some holes. Uh, that one's all done. Tom's finishing up there. This little one over here is for a bar area. Um, not a whole lot going on here, but it's nice and warm in here. So we are happy to be here, right guys? Shovel brigade going on. Yeah, give it another tilt, Steve.
this is buggy number three, last little bit there. So we may have enough to finish that up. Looks pretty good, Steve. Clean up. We'll get the rest of this dirt loaded up and out of here. So let me go know when you guys need me to jump in there and help shovel. Okay, one more load of dirt, and we are out of here. These things are amazing, they go through anything. Mud, snow, not ice. Ice wouldn't be fun. Okay, so we got all the dirt cleaned up. Uh, that's one patch, our long one over here as well as this smaller one over here. All of this gets covered in carpet, so Tom's gonna stay behind and just give it a uh, quick hand trowel, uh, even everything up. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and bug on out of here. We have a, another small project we're working on down the street. Uh, we're in charge of demo on that one, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just get some sledgehammers going. Uh, hopefully we don't need a jackhammer. Uh, it's not a big area and, and it looks like it's real thin so should come out pretty easy um, We'll get that one ripped out and poured tomorrow So we'll get some footage on that and start getting some uh, concrete videos coming in for you uh, next week uh, We should have two pretty good sized basements to do so stay tuned This part scares me. These ramps are kind of short for this. It's nice and slow. I might do some blocking underneath there to get those up a little bit. So we'll pile all this in the buggy and head on down. Okay, so we came over here to our second job. All we're doing is tearing this corner out. It, it sunk about four inches. So I just did a nice easy score cut on our chalk line just out here just past this crack wanted to take care of this while we're here so new floor will come to right here uh, so now we'll go ahead and use uh, water to make the cut and really keep the dust down and uh, well let's get started
just what I was hoping for. Four. The floor is about two inches thick. Looks like a sandy base. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that ripped on out of there. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Saw cutting went good. Fortunately we had water to keep all the dust down. Uh, and we'll be able to just squirt this right into our work site. Stay tuned as we go through the demo. I'll go ahead and put it on time lapse. So hopefully a mixer will come down this tomorrow. We left the power buggy here uh, just in case he doesn't want to come down here. It's melting pretty good. We're seeing a lot of stone, but if you get it's a lot of weight and it could start sliding, anything can happen. So a couple trips to the power buggy might be safer. It's kind of a long hike though with the power buggy. Everything slides out real nice. Now with the dump trailer, you can really back it tight up to the hillside. Uh, if there wasn't this snow here, I'd put it right on that edge and dump it over so I wouldn't have to touch it at all. Now, if I didn't have this trailer, I would have had to take a truck, a trailer, the power buggy this morning, along with a dump truck, trailer and a skid loader to haul all this debris back home so what a savings this is it was about 10 grand right plus or minus a little bit uh, but it saved so much aggravation uh, my truck didn't have to move today and it very efficient easy easy to work with so just wanted to point that out if you're interested in getting a dump trailer Bennett's from Salem, Ohio Can't say enough about it. We're gonna it. leave it for today heading back to the shop to do some work uh, So we're gonna go ahead and pour this tomorrow morning It'll probably be all linked in the same video. It'll be a short video. So uh, hope you enjoy it See you in the morning